Facebook, YouTube, what's up guys? Happy Thursday. Today is August the 3rd. Slow motion today, but just taking care of some, um, getting these tags for these vehicles. My birthday is coming up. Uh, getting ready to uh, ship out some uh, product for the class coming up um, in Omaha, Nebraska, our second rug hardwood class uh, between me and Cameron Maysville. I'm going to be shipping out some products there. And uh, yeah, guys, just, uh, just again, if, you, if you're not working in the business you need to be working on the business i'm going to just be in the office today for a few hours doing some work so anyway guys i got a great message for you today a lot of you guys really need to hear this man this is a great business tip of the day so again i saw a post um you guys saw i get a lot of my content from you know especially facebook and these private groups i saw a post that someone asked um do you guys uh accept tips uh because um you know I've seen people say they feel funny asking for tips. Uh, they think it's tacky. They don't think it's business wise. And guys, this is just my opinion, and I do I do disagree with that. And I'm a, I'm gonna give you guys just a few things to think about. Now, I don't know about you guys. Most places in this world accept credit cards, and most places, okay. I just went and got emissions um, on my car. Guess what, guys? The emissions was $25, and there was an option for a tip. And guess what? I hit 25%. It was like three bucks, okay? Um, go out to restaurants, tips. You go out to bars, tips. You go out to, I mean, guys, barbershops, you know, if they take credit card, it asks for a tip. I don't see a problem with that. I'm going to tell you guys, first of all, the reason why I don't see a problem with it, because I am a tipper, and I'm a very generous tipper, because the reason why... It used to bother my wife, okay? It used to bother my wife that I used to leave such large amounts of tips. Uh, I think the largest tip I've probably ever left was maybe $300 at a restaurant. My average tip, my average tip, you know, especially when we go out to eat, it's about 100, 150 bucks, depending on the, you know, if it's a full family. Um, also the service. Um, even if I don't get good service, um, I still leave, I still leave something because I understand that's how most of, uh, especially uh, waitresses, um, that's how they make their money. So I'll still leave something. Um, and uh, I, I, I believe, guys, and um, you, you are what you, you are you, you attract what you are okay and i think the reason why a lot of people in business have a hard time asking for tips and not i'm gonna say ask i'm something i'm off uh having an option for tips i don't ask for tips okay uh but when people pay us with credit cards uh there is an option to leave tips and i will say guys yes we receive tips all the time you know and sometimes if people don't leave a tip on the credit card they'll give us like cash you know something like that um i've had a client I think the largest tip I received was last year. I I, I mean, guys, it was so large. <laughs> I had to ask her, are you sure? She was like, yeah, Courtney, it was $1,100. Uh, I received tips for 900 800 700 But our average, our average tip is probably around about $200. Um, guys, you have to realize, when you are, you know, if, if something makes you feel awkward, it makes you feel funny, uh, having an option for tips, uh, uh, demanding or asking for you know higher prices. I'm gonna tell you guys why. Because again, you have to remember, Courtney Lee was on. I, I, I have been on both sides of the field. The reason why most have an issue with this, it makes them feel you know, uh, um, it makes them feel a way of of not wanting to accept it or that it's wrong and it's not wrong because again companies do it all the time people tip all the time it's because that's not who they are all right if you don't do something okay if it's not a part of you it's really hard for you to accept it this is why i went through that phase especially like a lot of people in business especially in the cleaning industry and especially carpet cleaners is this the reason why i've seen cleaners say courtney man Man, I, I wrote up a ticket, and and and, and, uh, and man, the price is so high. I just feel funny, you know, if someone paying me three, four, five hundred dollars. Okay, because the reason why you're not used to spending that type of money. I have guys that tell me this all the time, Courtney. Man, the prices that you get, there's no way, there's no way I can ask for that. Because why? Because you are not that. Okay, and vice versa. That's why I can't ask for a certain price or expect a certain price because i'm not that 
okay this is why i can't have my carpet cleaning truck go out and clean carpets for 30 40 dollars a room because i'm not that okay this is why I don't give discounts. This is why if I gave somebody a quote to do their wood floors and let's say that, you know, the average price for us is 2,500 bucks and someone said, can you do it for $1,500? No, because I'm not that. I don't ask people for discounts. Okay. I don't expect discounts. All right. In a way, I think it's kind of disrespectful. All right. Uh, I, I, I am a generous tipper. I tip all the time. I tip, we, uh, before we left uh, Panama City Beach, we uh, had dinner at Longhorn Steakhouse. Longhorn Steakhouse, uh, uh, the, uh, the total was like $138. I left a $50 tip. My credit card company sent me an email asking that I leave that tip because there was like a, it was a, um, you know, a 38 percent uh, tip, and they, you know, in the email it basically said something like, "This is a very large uh, uh, abnormal tip for that type of price," and I had to reply back, "Yes, I did leave that tip." So my thing, guys, is this: when it comes to business, the reason why a lot of us have a hard time accepting. Um, things like tips the reason why a lot of us have a hard time demanding or asking for higher prices marketing higher prices is because it's simple you are not that okay so it's hard for you to accept it if you don't do it <laughs> all right guys it's that simple if you're not a person that that you know spends money on you know top dollar on certain things and this is one thing I had to reprogram my mind years ago Courtney, if you want to be able to accept this, ask for this, demand this, you first have to become this. So guys, what I start doing, I stop becoming price conscious, all right? Always looking at the price, always worried about the price, okay? If I wanted to become this, okay, if I wanted to accept this from other people and do it to me, what does that mean? I have to be willing to do that to other people. And that's how I started getting there. How I got here is changing my mindset, all right? Now, when I go write up an invoice, write up an estimate, hardwood floor, the job we're doing tomorrow, job is in Buckhead, screen and recoat, that job is $3,800. When I gave my client the estimate, when can you do it, all right? We did one yesterday, $3,600. We did it one day before, four grand. When can you do it, all right? So my thing, guys, is this. Those are the type of people that I attract to my business because guess what? That's how I am. When I take my car to go get fixed on, all right? My mechanics know not to just fix it, all right? Don't sit here, well, Courtney, is going to this part? No, 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 just fix it, all right? When I have guys come over and do stuff to my house, well, um, just do it. My buddy Reggie, he's a good friend of mine. He came over last year, installed new floors in our house and new carpet. The bill was $16,000. Did I ask him for a discount? No, I did not. Because just because he's my friend, there's still a certain line of business. I don't mix personal with business, all right? I asked, I wanted, first of all, I was gonna support anybody but him. Because again, he's my friend, all right? So I am going to get him my business. And guess what, guys? It had absolutely nothing to do with the price. Now, did he give me a discount? I don't know, but I did not ask for one. Hopefully, he charged me regular price, okay? So when he came out, he did the measurements, gave my wife the estimate. I called him back. Two weeks later, when can you start? Came out there and knocked it out, $16,000, all right? I had a company, uh, we had some, uh, we had a whole new stair uh, thing done. Uh, we had a whole banister redone. Found the company. This company actually was the company that motivated me to start asking for in-home consultations. Uh, we found them on Google um, and um, my wife called them. They said it's a $150 consultation fee. They did the same thing I do. They said, send us pictures. We'll give you a ballpark figure price of how much it would be. We did that. They said, well, um, it would be between this price and that price. I think it was like uh, $2,500 to like $3,000. Uh, we said we want to move forward. They sent out a, um, uh, someone to come out and give the, you know, the, do the estimate, $150. We had to pay that up front. And that did come off the bill like I do my clients. And I think it came out to like a $2,800 project. See what I'm saying? So my thing, guys, is this. Yes, if you're afraid to ask for uh, higher prices, 
if you're afraid to uh, um, have an option for people to leave you tips, that's the probably the one of the reasons why. I'm not saying that is the reason, but that's probably one of the reasons why. Because you are not that. And it's that simple. You are not that. And it's hard for you to ask for something that you don't do yourself. Okay? It's that simple, guys. So if you do want to start asking for higher prices, which there's nothing wrong with it. Plenty of companies around this world, okay, they understand their value. They understand, uh, not even their value, man. A lot of, they understand just the cost of doing business. You know, I see guys, I saw a comment yesterday. Guy was like, yeah, uh, for an owner-operator making fifty dollars to $100,000 a year, that's good. I'm like, are you kidding me? Dude, do you know the cost of doing business? That's like $50,000 and you're in business for yourself? A hundred grand, guys, it's nothing to like even brag about no more, especially if you have business for yourself. I mean, you're talking about uh, uh, just probably 30, 40 percent just in business, just in business alone. Then you have your personal. OK, but again, it's, it's all a mindset because, again, I used to be the exact same way. This one, when I first started my business, I didn't know why I was struggling because why I re until I realized I'm. I'm not operating my business right. I'm not even making enough money to barely stay in business, okay? And this is why I financially struggled for so many years. And again, I taught myself and I re reprogrammed my mindset. If you want this, Courtney, if you want people to start paying you higher prices, you have to become that. And it's, it was that simple. It wasn't, a, it wasn't a, a flip of a switch. It wasn't an overnight, but I made it happen. And that's why my business is doing great. And this is why I treat other businesses the exact same way I want to be treated. Anyway, guys, hopefully this video can help somebody. You enjoy the rest of your day. I'm going to go ahead and finish out the rest of my day. And I'll see you in the next one. Thanks for watching.